Whether you live in Canada, the United States, or anywhere else in the world, here are some online Canadian stores that I think you should definitely check out, and I'm going to tell you all about them right now. Hello everyone, Larissa here, and this video comes to you via Up Houses and Trees, where I blog about sustainable design, sustainable living, sustainable everything. I am Canadian, I've lived in Canada my whole life, I absolutely love it here. I am so proud to be Canadian. It's beautiful, it's diverse, it's massive. We have so many kinds of people from so many different cultures and backgrounds and walks of life living here. We also have some really cool sustainable brands, sustainable companies that I really wanted to share with you because personally, I didn't even know about some of these and I live here. I also really wanted to touch on something that's really difficult and dark topic. So if that's something that you just want to skip over, you can head to this time um, that I'm going to put right here. But that is the news that has been out um, over the last uh, month or so about Mark Graves found at the Canadian residential schools. If you're following this story at all, you'll know that um, while it is shocking and horrifying. It is not something that people in the Indigenous community are surprised about. They are of course devastated as most Canadians, including myself, are. But it's not something that is shocking because it is something that um, Indigenous communities have known and suspected for decades. If you're not sure what it is that I'm talking about, I'm going to put some links down below so that you can learn a little bit more about it. I just felt that it would be a huge oversight for me to talk about Canada and not mention our dark history with residential schools, our history of horrible mistreatment of Indigenous people. So I wanted to mention that, but then I also wanted to uplift the conversation by uh, talking about some of the awesome brands that are Canadian made and Canadian owned that really put people and planet first, and that would be all people. And so I made sure to include some Indigenous owned brands, brands run by people or um, involved in products that are from uh, places all around the world like Zimbabwe or um, South Korea or Mexico. I just wanted to include a pretty diverse range of brands because that's what Canada is all about and that's the thing that I feel like we need to celebrate about Canada. I also made sure that all of the brands that I included ship to Canada and the United States as well as some of them also ship internationally. I didn't want to only feature brands that you can get if you live in Canada, but I wanted people who live outside of Canada to also have access to some of these really cool um, companies and products. So with all that being said, let's get into those Canadian online stores right now. We're going to talk about online stores that sell pretty much everything. We're going to talk about clothing stores. We're going to talk about home decor and we're going to talk about beauty. So first off in the uh, online stores that sell pretty much everything is the brand All Things Being Eco. All Things Being Eco is an online marketplace. Um, they are based out of Chilliwack, British Columbia. They do carry clothing, but they also carry things like zero waste supplies. So because this is a marketplace, they carry a bunch of different brands. So this is great if you want to, you know, order quite a few things and you can order them all from one shop and have them all shipped to you for you to uh, try out and enjoy. Next up, we have a company called The Better Good. They are based out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. The Better Good also sells clothing. Uh, they sell body products. They sell things for kids, textiles and kitchenware, uh, zero waste items as well, cleaning supplies. So again, that's another marketplace that kind of um, will help you to choose a few different items for you to try out or if you know things that you already love, then you can order them all in one shipment. Next up, we have Boho and Hobo, which I think is a super cute name. Boho and Hobo are based out of Kingston, Ontario. Boho and Hobo have their own line of zero waste supplies, uh, cleaning supplies, kitchen supplies, kind of just all of your essentials that you need for a more sustainable home. On to Eco and Amore. They are a Scarborough, Ontario uh, refill shop, um, but they also ship their products in containers. And the cool thing about them is that you can send back the packaging and containers um, so that they can be washed and refilled and used again. So they primarily sell cleaning supplies and personal care items. I myself um, get my shampoo and conditioner and all of my, you know, sort of liquid type care and uh, cleaning supplies 
from a similar shop in the city near where I live. I'm lucky enough to live close to a store like that. If you do not, then something like Eco and Amore is similar in that you can get more of bulk type items instead of having to buy, you know, uh, items off of the shelf in plastic bottles continuously. The last online store from this category is called Worldlit. They are based out of Seaforth, Ontario. Much like the other stores, they are a uh, marketplace that sells all kinds of different sustainable items, but they also actually sell um, food items, so like tea and grains and that sort of stuff. If that's something that you're uh, looking into giving a try, you know, more like organic grains or more sustainable um, like coffees and teas, um, that could be something that you could try out over on Worldlet. Okay, on to category number two. We have sustainable clothing brands that are Canadian owned. I start out with Encircled. Encircled is based out of Toronto, Ontario. You wanna build like a capsule wardrobe where you only have a certain amount of pieces that you can continuously rotate through. Um, Encircled is a great place to get started with that sort of thing. I have been looking for a pair of shorts like this for years um, and I haven't been able to find anything at the thrift stores. So I would definitely consider investing in shorts like this from a place like Encircled because they are uh, sustainably minded. Okay, next up we have The Good Tea, which is also based out of Toronto, Ontario. The Good Tea sells, not surprisingly, uh, t-shirts. They also have these really cool tie-dye kits, which I think would be a really great project to do, you know, either for yourself or if you have kids or kids in your life. Good Tea is also a certified B Corporation and they are fair trade certified. All right, next up is another Toronto-based uh, clothing company and that is Cotton. They have really nice basics, t-shirts and leggings and sweatpants and shorts. And they actually also have uh, duvet covers and sheets. Cotton is another certified B Corporation. And if you do want to learn a little bit more about what it takes to become a certified B Corporation, I will put a link to that in the description below. Moving on, uh, we have Know Me Know You, which is an indigenous owned clothing brand. They carry really beautiful athletic wear with um, prints by indigenous artists. They use materials um, such as rayon made from bamboo, um, tencel. They also have an upcycling and recycling program so you can either send your gently worn uh, no me no you items back to them. They can donate them to a local shelter or else they uh, recycle them and turn them into new clothing. Last up in the sustainable clothing uh, Canadian online stores category is Tentry. Tentry is based out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Tentry is really popular here in Canada. They um, plant Tentries for every item that you purchase. Me and my family members, my extended family, and a lot of my friends, we all own Tentry products. Me personally, I have this really nice hoodie um, that's super soft and comfy. And the cool thing about the trees that Tentry does plant when you buy the product is that you actually get um, information about where those trees are planted and it is my birthday coming up so I've already decided that I want this uh, 10 tree jumper. This jumper is made out of tensile lyocell but they have uh, clothing that's made out of all sorts of sustainable materials such as organic cotton and recycled polyester. Our third category in this video is my personal favorite of course being into sustainable design and that is the home decor category. All right, first up in this category is Batikwa. Batikwa is based in Vancouver, British Columbia. They sell pillows, uh, table runners, police mats, all beautiful hand-woven things. Uh, the owner was born in Zimbabwe and now lives in Canada and she wanted to bring the textiles of where she grew up um, to Canada and across the world. The owner designs the textiles and then they are made by a group of artisans who live in Zimbabwe using eco-friendly materials and sustainable practices. Next up in the home decor online store category is Goody. Goody is based in Montreal, Quebec. So Goody actually sells um, a lot more items than just home decor, but they do uh, primarily focus on home decor and furniture. They're really into having products that are made from natural materials or ones that support heritage crafts and that enable artisans from around the world to uh, you know, do what they do best and receive um, compensation fairly for what they do and for the amazing products that they make. Next up we have Indigo Arrows. They are based out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And Indigo Arrows is a indigenous owned company. They carry these really beautiful handcrafted textiles. The designs are all based on patterns that were on the tools and pottery, you know, from hundreds, even thousands of years ago. And so the owner wanted to, um, as she said, take those patterns out of the museum where you normally see them and put them onto items that people could bring into their home and appreciate 
on a daily basis. Next, we have Maison Tess. They are based out of Montreal, Quebec. They have so much beautiful bedding. It looks so luxurious and comfortable. Products are all designed in Montreal and then they are weaved and dyed um, by a fourth generation Portuguese manufacturer. They are then sent right to the Maison Tess warehouse and then sent directly to the person who has ordered them, which eliminates a lot of the unsustainable um, sort of middle steps that can often happen in a traditional retail type transaction. And last in this category, we have Obac. They are based within Vancouver, British Columbia. Much like Goody, they also have apparel. Um, they have some skincare, they have some jewelry, but they also have quite a large range of home decor and pottery items. They really wanna bring um, the items that are made by artisans all around the world to Canada and elsewhere, just ensuring that those who have created these pieces are featured, that they're not a silent individual. You know, when you buy a basket, who was the one who um, made that basket? Who weaved it together? Who dyed it? Companies like Obaki really wanna make sure that the person who does those things are given credit for it. Um, and I think that just makes the pieces that we bring into our home so much more special when we know the story of where they came from and they're not just like, oh, hey, I got this off Wayfair. My last category, we have sustainable beauty. So I actually have tried out a few of these uh, brands. But the first one that I wanna talk about, I actually only just found out um, when I was researching this video and that is Cheekbone Beauty. Cheekbone Beauty is based in Toronto. They are a indigenous owned brand. The thing that I thought was super cool was that on their website, they talk about practicing um, something called two-eyed seeing which is basically taking um, sort of Western science and combining it with indigenous knowledge and creating a balance that is really environmentally focused. I really love that Cheekbone Beauty talks about that that's kind of their operation model. I think they have really beautiful products um, and really awesome shades of their lipsticks and their eyeshadows. Next up is Elate. Um, Elate is based in Victoria, British Columbia. And out of all of the brands that I have talked about, Elate would be the brand that I probably have the most familiarity with. I'm actually wearing um, some of Elate's makeup right now. I'm wearing their eyeshadow and their bronzer and their highlighter and their lip balm. So we've got uh, the lip balm right here. This is the called the Better Balm. Um, I've got some of their brushes, which up until I found these, I never use brushes. I always just use my fingers. When I saw these that they um, were made of bamboo, I was like, hey, they're not plastic. And I wanted to give them a try and I actually really, really like them. I also have um, their powder, which this is a bamboo container. I think that's really cool. And I have this uh, creamy foundation, which I am not wearing right now because it is a little bit heavier and it's really, really hot where I live right now. My favorite thing that I have from Elate is this um, palette. So basically you buy it and then you buy whatever you want to go in it. And they come in these just little metal um, pans and then they just clip right in here because this background for this is magnetic. Um, so I have a whole bunch of eyeshadows and I have their highlighter and their bronzer and I love this. This is the only really makeup that I wear when I do wear makeup. I think Elate's just a really cool company. Um, they're very much about sustainable packaging and they even pack their little pans that I just showed you in uh, seed paper that you can then plant and then flowers will grow. Next up is Etymology. They have really beautiful serums. Um, they also sell some sunscreen items. I tried one of their um, serums before. I can't show you because I used it all, but I got my uh, gua sha from them as well in this cute little package here. And oh, I love this thing. I mean, you can buy these from a lot of different brands, but I really wanted to support a Canadian uh, sustainable brand. And so that's why I decided to um, buy this one. Their owner actually uh, went to uh, school to get her master's of science. And so etymology is really about scientific chemistry side of things, as well as like the plant-based organic, you know, sustainable side of things. Next up is Satya. Uh, Satya is based in Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, they also are indigenous owned and the owner, she uh, came up with this formulation um, for her daughter who was suffering from really bad eczema. And she actually whipped it up in her kitchen and it was just such a huge success that she started selling it and now it's a really um, popular and growing brand. Another really cool thing about Satya is that they only use five ingredients in their products. Last stop for sustainable beauty and for the very last brand that I wanna talk about is the brand Voir. They are based in Toronto. They have hair care products and I know about them because I tried out their Rainforest Mist hairspray. I love this. Like I got like kind of frizzy sort of 
wavy type air. So I really need something to like smooth it down. All of their items are cruelty free, which all of the other beauty uh, products that I talked about are as well. I wouldn't have featured them if they weren't. And their ingredients are plant-based and they are packaged in recycled materials. Hey, that is it. I hope you learned something. I definitely learned a few things while I was researching for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.